this computer. There, now the sound of quality assurance. This meeting is being recorded. Uh, so the first part uh, of today's meetup, I wanna talk just about the syllabus and then we'll talk about uh, other stuff in a moment. Uh, all right, let's share sound just in case. All right, can y'all see my screen? Mm, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, little cotton restaurant. Now that makes me hungry. All right. Okay, so I apologize for any confusion about the uh, syllabus. Um, usually there are three days the first week of uh, summer school, and uh, this time we only had two, so it may line up a bit oddly for you. Next half of the uh, summer, it's going to be four, so <laughs> I split the difference and had three uh, periods for the first week, so that probably threw some of you off. Um, okay, uh, first off, don't buy this book. I've stopped using it, but I'm supposed to put it on my syllabus, uh, but do buy the uh, technical writing course packet. Um, which is, should be in the bookstore, and you need that for your plagiarism statement. All right, I'm not going to read over all this. Here are our graded assignments. Um, the first one is the uh, uh, four um, recipes, um, are the four recipes, anyway. Uh, the four recipes are the first assignment, uh, and it's about how to give instructions in technical writing uh, uh, the universe, which means putting in headings, subheadings, uh, bulleted lists, uh, numbered lists, uh, giving instructions, starting uh, sentences with uh, imperative verbs, uh, left and right alignment, uh, links, pictures, which is a lot of technical writing stuff for one little recipe. Uh, second assignment um, is the proposal. Uh, which uh, sets up your long report. And I'll just, uh, we'll go back to the long report in a minute. Let's, uh, 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 then the sentence outline, then the final report, then the application of letter and the group project. And these add up to 90%. I'm not taking attendance because we're online and there's no real use to once upon a time, I could go in Moodle and click and see not only when was the last time you attended, but every time you attended. It was real easy and uh, they switched it up to make it fit on iPhone nicely, which helped, uh, but uh, we lost the ability to see your attendance record. So I'm just not going to count it. Um, so the uh, score will be based off of your 90%, but then multiplied. Uh, so. It, reflects 100%, if that makes sense. My, my, my spreadsheet understands it uh, much better than I do. All right, stuff, stuff. Oh, turning into work. So um, your, can I get to this? Hold on, let me go into Dropbox. Sign in. Okay, graded assignments, 303. Uh, why have I been doing this a while? So, uh, oh, I haven't set them up yet. I think I've set up you guys. So you should have in your email an invitation to a Dropbox folder. Um, nobody's turned anything in yet but um, you'll drop all your proposal files into uh, folder one. Then when we come to your next uh, sentence outline, you'll drop all those files in there. 
Uh, number three, the long report, drop all those files in there. And the resume, drop those files in there. And um, I used to do this on Moodle and uh, it makes it hard to upload certain file types. Um, I have the audience proposal PDF and somewhere along the way, Moodle decided it had seen that file just one time too many it stopped people from uploading it. Um, also, when I give uh, feedback and it's, you know, summer's a hurry. Uh, when I start giving feedback, um, you won't get it for several days after I put it in there. Um, and uh, it's very frustrating for me and you both. So I started doing this instead. Uh, put all of your files in here as PDFs. I have a PDF editor that I can put my feedback on that will um, mess with your format. So it's really important to remember, uh, put your assignments in uh, these folders, at least these four assignments, and save them as PDFs. Any question about that before we move on to the uh, daily assignment part? Okay. I'm trying to kind of hit the high point so I don't, you know, tie up all your uh, Saturday afternoon, but I don't want to go too fast uh, or that defeats the purpose of the meetup. All right, so uh, this uh, syllabus, I have one class in the first session, one in the second. And so that's the reason for the two sets of dates. So always for your class, go by the top dates. So uh, the third and the fourth. Um, second session, because they have a whole week, uh, we'll turn it in at the end of the week, their proposal. Uh, but you are the first session. So I think this is the only assignment that's split up like that. Uh, so you'll get these in Monday. Uh, try to get them in by say eight o'clock Monday night. And I'm traveling Tuesday, I'll start grading Monday night. And then I'm not sure if I can get to these files on the airplane on Tuesday, will give me something lovely to do uh, to avoid thinking about falling into the uh, yeah, you know, uh, mountains or wherever we're flying over. Um, but if I can't, then I'll get back to it that night and Wednesday. I'm going to try to plow through these pretty quickly because you need this one for the next assignment. Okay, and we'll talk about the proposal more in a minute. Um, all right, so June 7th through 11th, Period one, Monday, June 7th. Period two, Tuesday, June 8th. Period three, Wednesday, June 9th. Period four, Thursday, June 10th. And period five, uh, Friday, uh, June uh, 11th. Uh, but I think, let's see. We're gonna have to do something. Ah, I know what we'll do. Uh, so make a note that we will actually turn in the sentence outline June 12th on the Saturday. And that'll give me Sunday to grade them. And you can start looking at your grade, you know, I'll start with A and go to Z or vice versa. So uh, it'll just appear uh, in your folder graded when I get to it. Um, all right, so, um, but I'll try to have those by the end of the weekend. Uh, if I have Saturday night and Sunday to grade it. Um, sentence outline is the slowest thing to grade all quarter. Um, and it's the hairiest to write. So, um, you know, uh, and then we'll push the long report back to that weekend, probably that Sunday, uh, June 25th, 26th, 27th. So uh, jot that down the 27th um, for the long report. <clears throat> um, and then I'll have, yeah, yeah, that gives me time to grade it. Um, you can only go so fast with these things because they're big reports. All right, so does everybody understand how the syllabus is going to work and the adjusted date due dates? 
I think so. Do you mind? Okay, so right here for week one, let's just yep. look at period one. Um, so we click the getting started link, go through all that, how to right. link, go through all that. So we go through all those links. Um, for the readings, uh, what do we read out of? Is that out of the- Um, Just read. <laughs> Once upon because a time, because if we're not buying a book, what no, no, you no. know, what what is right. chapter one? Once upon a time, I had everybody read chapter one, and then I would talk about chapter one, and kind of nothing to do with anything we were actually doing. So uh, I kept the chapters up there because that's kind of what we're going over. Mm -hmm. But they're more of an idea of a chapter. <laughs> you don't actually read it uh, unless you want to. It'll give you some good background about, you know, uh, this is where I got the audience analysis sheet was from this textbook, at least an earlier iteration of it. And they go into why and wherefores of audience analysis. I mean, interested in that, like if you're going to be minoring and uh, or majoring in technical writing, yeah, buy it and go ahead and phone up on it. But um, you know, I kind of explained that stuff in the uh, um, my uh, notes and lectures. So <laughs> if you don't want to buy the book, don't worry about the chapters. So we only do the stuff that's like, that's got a hyperlink on it that you can yes. click on and, and actually do? only turn in, and again, I changed color schemes, and so my orange is too close to the red, and I need to do something about that. But the only thing you actually turn into me are the highlighted red graded assignments. The rest of this okay. is just for you and your, you know, like the, uh, the Bill Cafat questions. Uh, that's to help you start analyzing audiences, uh, mm -hmm. but it's not turned in. So only turn yeah. in the red stuff. But so the like the, the thesis the exercise, so like the thesis exercise, the ad questions and the recipes, that's just optional for our benefit? Well, the recipes are great. Um, so we will be turning those in yeah, whenever. Well, we kind of get them in and then we keep working on them. Uh, how to. This part is getting you started on it. Let's see when we would like to be finished. Uh, I think that's just the thing that I'm having most trouble with is seeing what's assigned, when it's assigned, and when it's due. You know, let's see. Proposal, proposal, sense of. Oh, here it is. I, I agree. I'm the same way. Okay. What was it that was confusing? I'm sorry. I had confused myself for a moment. I said I have trouble seeing what's assigned, when it's first assigned, and when it's due. Yes. Okay. So you look for the red. Now this mm -hmm. is second session, so uh, I'm getting them, you know, they, they have more time that first week. So uh, your first uh, graded assignment is due uh, Monday. Uh, try to get it in by eight. I'll do some grading before I leave out on my plane flight. Um, and, uh, you know, get back to it when after, probably, I don't know, it'll depend on the airplane, how it's set up, if I can grade it on the trip, but I'll stick with it, uh, even, you know, it may be Wednesday before I finish up, but anyway, uh, that's due that day, uh, June 7th, let's go through this, how to, this is more of a first turn down, because the thing about the how to project, as long as you stick with it and make the corrections, everybody gets a 92. So people lose points on, um, you know, a lot of the, especially the long report. Um, so I try to make up points somewhere else. Uh, so you'll put up your initial recipe. I will make corrections. You'll do the corrections. I'll tell you the next. Or, uh, okay, you still haven't corrected this and you'll do that. And eventually we'll have it done. Um, but I would like them up on the blogger by uh, June. Now let's make it do. Um, Monday, we are already doing that. I don't want you to do it too much too quick. Let's push that back to Thursday. And then we're pushing the sentence outline back to that weekend. That was Saturday night, right? June 12th, 
Yeah, I'm jumping that down. Okay. And the loan report will make Sunday, June 20th. And uh, actually, let's go ahead and make that. Yeah, yeah. You know, at the end of Sunday, like that can be midnight or even later. As long as I have it Monday, I start grading these on Monday, June 21st. So if you're an all night person typing away, go ahead and do that all Sunday night. And, um, you know, just uh, when, uh, when I get ready to grade, which will be Monday, say after seven, um, as long as it's in by then, you're fine. Does that make sense? I think so. Um, okay, resume you view. These... Let's make that uh, Saturday night. That'll give me sun because we're running out of time here. Uh, so let's make it Saturday, June 27th, 26th by midnight. And then the group project is the last thing we'll check in. All right, so those are the only things you turn in to me. The rest of it is just stuff for you to do uh, to help you with that. All right, so any more questions about due dates? Because that is important, we need to know that. Um, I need to work on my color scheme, so. Maybe I could change the red. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if you could, um, if it would be possible to post like maybe on Moodle or something, some kind of outline that shows, you know, um, this is due on this date, and this is due on okay, this date. Okay, y'all read that back to me. I'll type it in now. Um, Cause that's a good idea. Yeah, like some kind of assignment timeline, just so I can have a visual and understanding of when I need to get things done. Two dates. Let's see, reply. Yeah, I don't want it there. <laughs> Where's another reply? Okay. Okay. okay, so go ahead. Um, so the first thing oh, wait, is let the... me make it a list. Hold on. Uh... Good. Okay. Is it the sentence outline? I think the proposal is no, the first thing, proposal. isn't it? Proposal. Yeah. All right. What day is it? Um. I uh, don't remember what you said you wanted that due on. Okay, guys, anybody taking notes? Yes, you said you want the proposal due Monday, June 7th at 8 p.m. Okay. Next. Who was so, that that was taking notes? Um, the Senate outline is due Saturday, June 12th. Um, yeah, I think that was eight o'clock too, wasn't it? What time did I say it was? Who's talking you camera? Say it that one, I don't think. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. You didn't say a time for that one, I don't think. I don't have a time right now. Um, I'd like to start grading it that night, so let's make it 8 o'clock. Okay, now there was something between those two, right? Was it the uh, recipe? Yes. The uh, how to project. Yeah. Thursday, June 10th. Okay. Now, when I say midnight, I mean midnight between 10th and 11th, which, uh, if you get it in early, fine. <laughs> All right, so next. The long report is due 
Sunday, June 20th at midnight. Okay. I think I gave you till the next, you know, day basically. So take all night if you need it. I know you guys love to stay up all night because you're college students. <laughs> and uh, then finally, oh no, next was the re resume. The resume yes, due Saturday, June twenty sixth. And. Uh, let's make that midnight. I can start, I can grade most of those on Sunday. And then finally, um, the group project. I think that's the next to last period. So, uh, 28th, oh, June, July 8th, July 7th, okay. Um, let's make an adjustment. Is it, um, hold on, let me look at that. Uh, okay, July 7th. Give you the whole weekend because uh, uh why is it this typing um because i had a little extra time because of the fourth break so uh okay how's that look to you guys uh very oh, helpful that no, looks good thank you and I want to make sure it's spaced out as reasonably as we can make it in the six week summer class. Um, CSA is already the highest intensity work class I have because there's certain things the department wants us to cover. Uh, and then the summer doubles it. So I'm trying to space these out so you'll have a little extra time. And uh, one reason for getting the long report in as early as we do is if something goes really wrong, we have a little extra time. Uh, and also you don't wanna be writing a long report during finals week, which some of my friends and colleagues do. You know, giving the extra time sometimes just amounts to more time to procrastinate. So let's get it in, get it done. Uh, and then you'll find the rest of the quarter, oh, oh my God, it's uh, so much easier now that we're just working on the resumes and group projects. I appreciate that. All right. Well, thank you. Well, yeah, I, I appreciate y'all uh, working with me to get this done because uh, this thing's uh, kind of, uh, you have to look at it and see how the quarter is going um, to figure out because, uh, you know, it always, ha you know, uh, slices up a little differently, especially in the summer. So it was something good to go over. All right, so any more syllabus questions before we head into the specific assignments? But anyway, that will be, you know, the law of the Medes and the Persians until the end of the quarter where you can go there and uh, know what the due dates are, um, get them tacked down. So I think that's a good thing. All right, so if there are no more syllabus questions, I am going to stop recording this.